Welcome back guys to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest where we well we pretty much are right in front of one of the most famous sequences from Ocarina of Time because if you are a Legend of Zelda player you kind of know what the passcode is already there should have been a Deku with the passcode somewhere in the dungeon but it appears that I completely skipped and missed him but thankfully to the age-old knowledge of any Zelda player Every pretty one of us will know the code. If you don't know the code, then play the game again! You have Zelda fan, you should know! And so therefore, it's two! Three! One! Is wrong! Why'd you not obey me, guys? 231 might have been the original Legend of Zelda one. However, it seems like 312 is a lot better. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administer the Coupe de Grace to Queen Goma, Queen Goma, strike with your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie. Sorry about that, Queen. And he leaves us a heart for our troubles? The code was completely wrong. If I remember correctly, it's always been 231. Unless things have changed from Master Quest, of course, where it was 312, that was obviously might have been that. But my head always said 231. So I'm wondering. Must have been another thing they changed. But with that, we step forward. No boss key required. No ceremony about it, because right up there is the first boss already. I hate the sound of that. Parasitic Armored Arachnid Goma! Oh Goma, you fight us so many times, what are you doing? I was fighting with stun, so I a Deku shot to the eye or using the Deku seeds. I had an opportunity to use it and stun him. Definitely use the Deku seeds. If I remember correctly, I think you can normally just slash him in Ocarina of Time, but I guess the boss might be slightly changed for this. But she is going up. With that, I say heart, thank you. Oh, maybe not. Where are you, madame? What are you doing? Please do not poop anything out of your bum. Because we will shoot it all. Make sure it doesn't spawn again. Get stunned. Come back here. Can I throw another? Oh, nope, you're going straight up. Oh, it was nice to see you. Um, Run away! Any more grass to cut? No, you're going to poop out some guys? Pooping begins. The egg laying. We've had to destroy enough of these as we've went along. Sorry about your babies, but I'm going to have to kill them all. Oh, what? I didn't even get the chance to attack. There we go. Jump attack. Suck it. Just run away. Give me a heart, please. I would like some hearts. Some lovely, tasty hearts. Ah, oh, lovely, tasty hearts. You pooped out some babies yet? Oh, we have one hatching. It's not my intention. But the slingshot puts pay to that guy. And he drops me lovely hearts. And I get another hit off. Your repetitive strategy is doing you no good, madame. You will need to come up with something new in order to defeat me. Yeah. 
Right, where are you at? It's no shadow to tell me exactly where you're gonna land, is the problem. So I can't get multiple hits on her. Just stunning her there doesn't do anything. Lasting a very long time. I wonder if I could just shoot her down. Maybe not. Maybe if I was at her front, I could just shoot her down. If I shot in the eye. It's not a bad theory to test out, really, but it's not going to happen right now, that's for sure. Let this be the finishing blow. What? You got up? There's no end to your rudeness, is there? Alright, so we're going to arrange ourselves so we can try and shoot it down. It's not working very well. Ah, oh, we can shoot it down. That is exactly what we're supposed to do. When our eyes go red, shoot it down. And that's boss dead. I like these playthroughs like this. I always do them slightly blind and it's more fun this way rather than knowing everything from an FAQ. Trial and error works just so much better. We pick up our first heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. Your life energy will be totally filled. Thank you. And finally we have solved or salved even the curse of the great Deku tree. The first part of our quest is complete. Well done, Olives. Thou hast verily demonstrated thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now I have yet more to tell ye. Wouldst thou listen? Yes, sure. Stay a while and listen. Now listen carefully, a wicked man of the desert casts this dreadful curse upon me. This evil man ceaselessly uses his vile sorceress powers in his search for the sacred realm that is connected to Hyrule. For it is in that sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the essence of the gods. Before time began, before spirits and life existed, three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Din, the goddess of power, Nehru, the goddess of wisdom. Faror, the goddess of courage. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she cultivated the land and created the Red Earth. Nehru poured her wisdom onto the earth and gave the spirit of law to the world. Faror, with her rich soul, produced all life forms who would uphold the law. Three great goddesses, their labours completed, departed for the heavens, and golden sacred triangles remained at the point where the goddesses left the world. Since then the sacred triangles have become the basis of our world's providence, and the resting place of the triangles has become the sacred realm.
Thou must never allow the desert man in black armour to lay his hands on the sacred Triforce. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm of legend. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me and sapped my power. Because of that curse my end is nigh. Though your valiant efforts to break the curse were successful, I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve for me. I have been able to tell you of these important matters. This is Hyrule's final hope. Olives, go now to Hyrule Castle. There thou will surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this stone with you, the stone that man wanted so much that he cast the curse on me. You got the Kokiri's Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the forest now entrusted to you by the great Deku Tree. The future depends upon thee, Ollis. Thou art courageous. Navy the fairy, help Ollis to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navy. Good bye. Let's go to Hyrule Castle, Olives. Goodbye, Great Deku Tree. As the first part of our adventure complete with Mido disappearing and reappearing again, he wishes to speak. Hey, Olives, what did you do? The Great Deku Tree, did he die? How could you do a thing like that? It's all your fault. Me? Really? You weren't there, Mido. You know no- Oh, he's gone completely. I was gonna, like, remonstrate with him. How dare ye say such things? Thou verily art thou thou this lie. Yes. Can I get up there as well? I'm going to get up there with you, lady. Oh, I couldn't jump. Oh well, it was a good try. Alright then, you're cutting grass still, you can help, I, I'm helping, I help, but he doesn't like me enough to just let me cut that one piece, I can help you. Oh well, we could go up on high I guess, if there is actually a way up there, it's up and around here, and get ourselves another 5 rupees, that's for sure, random big pixelated leaf up above. I should be able to climb this now if I want to get any hearts, but I don't really, I want to get on there, so let's try and jump onto it. And take the walk, which is not faring me very well, strangely enough. I'm not very, very... Uh, I can't walk. Walking is not my strong point. So let's head out into the fields beyond. What's up, kid? We, Kokray, will die if we leave the forest. Um... You're not going to try to leave the forest, are you? Yes, for the great Deku Tree told me I should do such things. Because he obviously wants me to die. Oh, you're leaving. I knew that you would leave the forest someday, Olas. Because you were different from me and my friends. But that's okay, because we'll be friends forever, won't we? I want you to have this ocarina. Please take good care of it. You received the fairy ocarina. This is a memento from Seria. Well, Saria. I don't know how people want me to pronounce certain things like Navy, or Navi, or Kokori, or Kokurai, or anything like that. I mean, I can only say it exactly as I see it, and actually Saria is the way I would normally say it. I just said it wrong completely, and that's why I went on this spiel about pronunciations. So yeah, cool. Set it to C, and you see to start playing it. 
On the select item subscreen, you can set it to left, right, or down, and then use that C to start playing it. You can play different notes with A and the four C's. Press B to quit playing or to start your song over again. When you play my ocarina, I hope you will think of me and come back to the forest to visit. I will! A touching farewell. He can't quite leave, but he has a mission to do, for he is a man. All is hero of time. So we hit the main hub, Hyrule Field. With massive owl guy equipped to intercept us. Yes, we now have the ocarina. Let's put it on. Ocarina. No, let's use it. So we can use just a C up, left, right, down. Simple things like that, even though it's a bit harder to play with a GameCube, strange enough. But I think you can actually change the note if you, like, use the control stick, as you can hear. So you can make your own crazy little songs. But let's get going. Nothing's gonna ambush me, I hope. Apart from you, sir. Hoo hoot! Ollis, look up here! It appears that the time has finally come for you to start your adventure. Who are you? Explain. You will encounter many hardships ahead. That is your fate. Don't feel discouraged even during the toughest of times. Go straight this way and you will see Hyrule Castle. You will meet a princess there. Excellent what every young adventurer wants to meet. If you are lost and don't know which way to go, look at the map. The areas you have explored will be shown on the map. Press start to enter the subscreens and L or R to find the map. Map is the key word of this sentence or any bit of this conversation. On the map subscreen you will also see a flashing dot showing you which way you should go next. Did you get all that? Yes I did. Alright then, I'll see you around hoot 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 hoo! Onward to flying! Bye. Right. Hyrule Field, full of dangerous, perilous things of creatures of doom and death. Look over there, doom and death. We do not want to face doom and death. So we'll stick to the road for now. And headbutt some trees. And get some rupees. Which rhymes. Excellent. Headbutting trees becomes a very big pastime for finding any kind of nice hidden goods because there is at least one golden sculpture hidden up inside these branches. But unfortunately, before we see the well, before we see the castle, we're going to hit nighttime. It seems, which is very, very perilous. Out in the fields of Hyrule, and with four hearts, I am slightly worried. The great Deku Tree wants us to go to visit the princess at Hyrule Castle. Shouldn't we get going? Navy, you state the obvious machine. Which way am I walking right now? Can you please explain to me which way I'm walking? And the bridge has gone up, which means death and doom for us. Because skeletons will consistently appear now. So we have to fight, survive until morning. And jump attacks are really going to help with that, trust me. Oh no, that, that was a bit unfair. No, don't get hit. There we go, got him. Because if you fight out here a certain amount of time or kill a certain amount of skeletons... Oh, he's trying to put my shield your way, sir. You will get bigger skeletons that give you bigger rewards. I think there's two grades of big skeletons. Oh, man, the jump attack fails are getting on my nerves. As you see, there's a bigger skeleton right there. Gives us five rupees, but if we keep fighting more and we cut down enough... We might get lucky and see the biggest type. Fight to survive! Not jumping backwards towards the blooming skeleton. We should be able to do a slight spin attack, of course, as well. Holding down the B button, but we're obviously not going to see that skeleton right now. Please stop hitting me. It is very mean.
Yeah, you get underground. No one wants to see you anyway. What we do want to see is onward to Hyrule Castle. So we will enter there next episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Where we defeated Goma inside the Deku Tree. But the Deku Tree sadly, sadly passed away. We got ourselves a nice Kokiri Emerald. And we're now heading to see a princess. What every young adventurer wants apart from the death of friends. Yes. Right. So join me next time for more. I'll see you guys around. Cheers for watching. Bye bye.